Hello there everyone, my name is Roxby and welcome back to some more Professor Layton and Pandora's Box. Now don't worry, we're not starting in the exact location where we ended off last episode. I just went out of Garland shop and went into the watchtower directly next to it and went up to find Jeff Thirsty. Because else I would have done it on screen and then just walking back and forth and having to cut that out. It's just too much trouble really. And it's not really needed, especially when it's this close by. But uh, apparently he uh, is trapped like rats because he doesn't have his tea or something. So uh, yeah, how will you qu quench your thirst mid-vanquish? Well, uh, Leighton probably has the tea for you. It's a monster fighting recipe with joy root clover and something for a bit of a smoky taste. Which is a tea that we do indeed have. It is tea number eight, the Clover Quencher. There we go. Restored and ready to kick some vampire rump. So yeah, we uh, came through and now the town is safe because he is uh, protecting them. Although, yeah, I do think he can afford to relax a little. It doesn't really seem... Like, there's any direct danger from vampires at the moment, but... Hey, to each their own, I suppose. Everyone has their own cup of tea. Yeah, I went there. Anyway, let's actually head into the... Uh, head to the west now and into the forest because, well... We're finally going to the mine now and... Oh wow, I got really lucky. He's thirsty on the first go. Ray. Ah, oh, yeah, his uh, sunglasses keep being, uh, keep being a bit stained or whatever, but maybe it's his eyes. Hmm, that could be the case. Well, a cup of nice tea to relax his eyes would do the trick, wouldn't it? So uh, let's see if we have something spicy and early, like the Cayenne Twilight. Tea number 10. And this is actually a very special moment. Yeah, that's a spicy finish. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, what's the matter? Uh, still more fog? Hmm, maybe the area is polluted. But we're now a tea master. That's right. If you blend all 10 or are there 10 different? No, 12 different teas and give tea to 26 different people like I've done. You unlock the tea master's house, which is one of Layton's challenges that I will be covering at the end of this let's play. So no more walking back and forth for tea. Thank you. Now let's talk with Ray again. So yeah, we do have uh, the nerves of steel. Let's uh, try your puzzle on for size, which is the puzzle 87 different suits. Below are 16 cards. There are four cards from each suit. Diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts. The cards are arranged in a 4x4 grid as shown below, and four cards have already been placed down. Arrange the remaining cards so that each vertical column, horizontal row, and diagonal line of four cards contains one card from each suit. Touch a card to change its suit. So this is a pretty interesting puzzle. You can get here by trial and error too, if you would uh, want to. But uh, we can do it regardless. So let's first start with this uh, spot here. Uh, we know this needs to be a heart. Because horizontally on this line there's already a diamond and a clover. So it would be a heart or a spade. But on this vertical line there's already a spade. That also means that this needs to be a spade. So we got those. Those are pretty easy really. Uh, same for this uh, most leftmost line. We know the spade needs to be here. Because the clover needs to be here. Because the spade was already on this line. So yeah, those are pretty easy because there's two on one line and uh, yeah, you can pretty easily cover it. Now for this one, it, we know that this needs to be a diamond or a clover, but we can say diamond because diagonally there's already cl a clover, which means that this is going to be the club or clover. I, I'm not sure if I'm using the correct name, so I'm sorry, but you should be able to gather what I mean. And that means that this can be a heart again. Uh, so yeah, we're making good progress. This can't be a diamond, so that means this is the diamond, and this is going to be the spade. Am I thinking that right? Yes, I'm thinking that right. And that means that 
uh, diagonally we want the heart hair again and here we need the clover as well as the diamond hair and that should have everything consider this puzzle solved a true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved so yeah, nicely done. It's a little bit tricky, but once you figure it out, it shouldn't be too tough. But that's a fun puzzle. I like those kind of puzzles. But yeah, apparently no one wants to go to the other side of the forest because of the vampire. Yeah, I guess that does seem to be the case. Let's actually talk with him again because, well, that's not the only puzzle he has for us. He also has another one of these puzzles that we've already seen a few different ones of. It's one of these ball puzzles. So uh, just read the uh, instructions if you haven't seen these before. But this is by far the biggest and most complicated one. And hopefully uh, we can do it right. But let's start with this one right here. Uh, next up, I think... Um I think we'll do this right here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Whew. There's so many moves you can do. You really got to think about what the right move is for a bit longer than you would otherwise, I think. At least that's that's the case for me, you know. I, you do want to consider your moves properly and not, not make a hasty move that you're going to regret later um, we can move this one over like that uh, and move that inward again although hmm, right if I do it like that that's good that's what I wanted to do uh, let's see what else do we want to do um, 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 um. I know my commentary isn't really great during these puzzles, but that's because these I don't really write down the answer as much. Um, so I end up, you know, having to do a little bit more of thinking about how to do them properly. I feel like I messed up as well. Wait, no, I can do this and then this. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I want to do. Um, I can move this over like that too and then actually also move that over and now we have a lot of a smaller uh -huh, figure we already got rid of a lot so yeah we are definitely making good progress at least so that's always good to see um, but what do I want to do next Oof, this gets tricky this really does get tricky um, do I want to move this one or do I want to move uh, oh I think wait no this one I mean yeah there we go I think that's that's it and then we can move it over there yeah yeah yeah, yeah okay no this is looking good this is looking good Okay, now we can move that over like that and move that over like that and like that oh 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 yep there we go getting close to the end now um yep and ooh, ooh, now we gotta make sure we make the right moves because you don't want to make any bad moves i think this is it though yep there we go there we go boom done Took a while, Consider but we got it. Puzzle Those are just long puzzles, I suppose. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. I think that might actually be the last one. But I'm not sure. There might be another one of that in there. But yeah, we uh, did tear through that puzzle. Uh, already f the fifth one. Now let's head to the right here first. And, uh... Yeah, we, we get to a gate. It looks closed. N nothing we really can do here. So yeah, um, I guess uh, that's just a dead end. So instead, let's actually move over to the left. And uh, yeah, we encounter the mine that we were, ta were told to go. Seems to be shut off now or sealed off. Hmm. Or well, no, not even closed down. 
Hmm, interesting. Well, uh, let's uh, venture inside, but before we do that, let's take a quick little photo, because this is another camera location. So, let's uh, check it out and see what differences we can find. Now, actually, I always thought there were only three differences, but last uh, video or a few videos ago, someone actually pointed out that there are pointing out another difference that I didn't spot in the video. So it seems like there might be more than three differences that you can find, which is pretty nifty. But this first one is that there was a log missing there over on the right, or on the left, I mean, and on the right, there's a bush missing. So yeah, both sides have something missing there, uh, which is a pretty cool. And then a third difference, that I can spot is um, is that actually this one doesn't like the top one has like some wooden stick sticking out from a tool or something but this bottom one doesn't so to let's point that theory. one out too a true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved and that clears all the differences now, of course, you know, you can't figure out what the location is, but it's these cards on the right, so I don't have to show that off in the puzzle itself, I think. Let's go ahead and try to solve puzzle 66, the locked box. The box shown below is fitted with a lock consisting of two dials. You can't turn the blue dial directly, but when you turn the red dial, the blue dial moves an equal amount. In order to see the relationship between the two dials, you try turning the red one from its original position as shown below. In order to open the lock, you must turn the blue dial to 3, 6, 4 and 1 in that order. Since you can't turn the blue dial directly, to which numbers must you turn the red dial in order to produce the desired numbers on the blue dial? So yeah, it's quite an interesting um, dial here. Uh, the, if the red one is on 0, the blue one will be on 5. We know that. And what you basically want to do is make an entire list uh, of 0 to 1, or 0 to 7. So 0 on red equals 5 on blue. And you want to make that list for everything. Now you also know that uh, a 3 on red equals a 2 on on um, blue and you, you need to ma basically make that list for every number um, that there is but especially uh, you you only need to know a few really you need to know a blue three a blue six a blue four and a blue one now for the blue three uh, to get the blue three we actually want to be at a red two I believe uh, if we go back because if we move this over two more okay basically if we move this over three to the right clockward um, the other one would move uh, one two three four five clockward or three counter clockward so yeah the blue one just moves counter clockward uh, from the red one so that, that's why a 2 on this one is a 3 on the red one. Then for the blue one, we know 6. So if we uh, are on 6 counterclockwise, uh, we move 3 over. Um, then we would find uh, that it would become... Uh, I'm not uh, making myself very clear, am I? Say we move um, 4 more ahead on red from the 3. Then we need to go four back, so that's a six. There we go, so we know that that should be a seven. And uh, you can do the same principle for all the numbers. Um, uh, I'll just go through it now. A four, I believe, is a one, and uh, one is actually a four. So what we want to input is two, seven, one, four. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And, now and see if it checks out. My theory. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. There we go. There you have a full list too. But uh, yeah, basically 
the blue one moves counterclockwise in the same uh, amount of steps as the red one moves clockwise. So yeah, it was it, it was a little bit of a struggle, but let's actually enter the mine now that we are here, and uh, we get to an interesting room. I didn't know that one was there, but cool, we uh, found it anyway. Finding some hint points. Let's check out this big door here. Hmm, doesn't look like it's going to open because well, a puzzle is blocking us from opening it. We need to use some kind of gear switch. The button that opens the door in front of you is buried deep within this machine, so you can't push it directly. However, by pulling the lever at the top, to the left or the right, you can move the various gears and plates in the machine, allowing you to press the button at the bottom. In order to push the green button, should you pull the lever towards A or B? Now, to do this, uh, the best way to do this is to start from the bottom. And that means that you want to push this one that way. Um, uh, if you do that, uh, it would the little thing would hit the green button. If you push that that way, that means that this middle one will go in that direction, uh, pulling this in counterclockwise direction, making this one move over to the left. Uh, this one will go clockwise again followed by one going counterclockwise and then clockwise once more uh, and that in the end means that you want to pull it over to the right side which is answer number B and now to test my theory huh wonderful and here you can see it in case my black arrows weren't that legible because I can understand they might not be the best. My handwriting is pretty bad. But it looks like we opened the door. So let's head deeper into the mine now. And uh... Hmm. Oh, over here. What, what is it? Oh yeah, another hint coin. Uh, what's this picture frame doing here? Hmm, what is on the wall? A puzzle, is it? A maze of doors. All the doors in the maze below only open when pushed from one direction, as shown. It is therefore impossible to pass through every room while going through the maze. However, from the entrance to the exit, uh, oh, while going through the maze from the entrance to the exit. However, this feat would be possible if one of the doors could open in the opposite direction. Can you find and circle this door? Um, so the trick here is to basically figure out a path through uh, through this uh, maze and with that only leaves one door that is wrong. So if we try it, we can not go through that top door here, but we can go through this left one. Um, now we can't go through either of these doors, so one of these two could very well be the suspect. Actually, one of these two has to be it, unless it's the one from the previous room. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting thing to note already. There are only three realistic options. So let's say that this one is the bad one. And then we can keep going here. We can keep going here even, um, pushing through those. Uh, we can push through both of these. Uh, then we can push through this one. And if this is turned around, we can go through there again, actually. Um, and have we been through all the doors then? Wait, would we not just take... And then we can basically... Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and th that, that way we've been through every uh, room and we can go back out again. Because I for a second I thought we had to go through all the doors rather than all the rooms. But that basically means that this one right over here is the one that we need to change. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Piece of cake. Wonderful, we uh, got it right. So yeah, we finally solved it, but yeah, why did someone place a puzzle down here? Hmm, the miners used it to pass some time. I guess that's a possibility. 
let's go ahead and read our old diary entry that we just uh, unlocked. My father fell ill from that sickness and has passed away. I also heard that many of the people who left for Sensei have formed the village a safe distance from town. I imagine she lives there now, too. I've decided to send her a letter. As Duke, I can't leave town, but I've entrusted my message with a man who is passing through town. Now all I can do is wait for her reply. So interesting. There's a village close by to Fonsense that the woman moved to, huh? Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. You know what? Let's actually uh, go here now. And there's an elevator here. Oh, over here. Uh, could, could, could we go down the elevator, please? Hmm. It's broken. How can we get it running again? Ah, a circuit board. Let's see here. Ah, yes, a circuit board. It fixes our problems. Except it creates one big one. Sliding puzzle time. I'll speed this up for you guys. Ah, and the circuit has Let's been broken through. Legends of Twenty strikes again. Ah, did we do it in twelve moves? I'm not sure, honestly. I didn't really pay attention to that. But it looks like the lift's making some noises, so let's go ahead and head down now. So let's press the button, and there's some safe. Well, it's safe for this episode because we're gonna end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel and maybe leave a like down on the video. And I will see you all in the next one.